top three books you should not read to your dog. Hi there, Carmen here. She loves a good bedtime story, as I imagine most other dogs do too. She goes to bed so many times during a day, so there's always plenty of opportunity to fit a few more chapters in. Diagonally fold eight corners along dash, but it's important to pick the right books for your dog. Jurassic Park, always an excellent choice. It's an exciting adventure that can really captivate the imagination of any dog. If you look at the bottom of the tanks, you'll see a white pipe coming out. Four inch PVC? Yes, PVC. Follow that pipe as it goes back. Okay, I'm following it. Ow! What happened? Nothing. I hit my head. There was a pause. Are you alright? You could also never go wrong with a good Dean Koontz book. Half the time they feature a golden retriever with superpowers. That's a lot of fun. I've heard from other dog owners that Watership Down is an excellent choice too. Story about a bunch of rabbits running around? Hey, that sounds right up her alley. So while there are a lot of great books that you can read to your dog, there's definitely a few books that you should not read to your dog. So why don't we count them down now? Starting with number three. Cujo, Stephen King. You pick this up and you think, oh, a story about a big St. Bernard dog that's kind of mean. Maybe it learns to be a nice dog. That could be kind of fun. So you dive into it, and it is a nice, lovable St. Bernard dog. Oh, and it's chasing some rabbits early on in the story. And the rabbits lead it into a hole in the ground where there's bats, and the bats have rabies or something, and... I literally had to stop reading. Had to change the bulb in that lamp. It had burnt out. It had been flickering for a few hours leading up to that moment, so I should have seen it coming. Which brings us to... Number two on our list of top books you should not read to your dog. The Curious Incident of the Dog in the Nighttime. Well, you pick this one up and you think, hey, it's a story about a dog for one thing. Stark, funny, and original? Yeah, we might really like this one. So you dive into it. First page, oh, the dog was laying on the grass. Yeah, Carmen. Carmen likes to lay on the grass. And oh, it's a dead dog. Not even past the first paragraph. It's a book about a dead dog. And then you know your dog's gonna be emotionally invested in this story, trying to figure out who did it. But then you gotta follow this character, and you'll be explaining to your dog these tangents that this character's going off on about prime numbers, equations, graphs, star positions. See, she's, she remembers it now, and she wants to get up and leave. Which brings us to number one on the list. I have literally no idea what I'm doing. And no surprise that she doesn't even want to face the camera for this one. Stephen King again, Pet Cemetery. It's a book about a pet cemetery. 